Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video here on Let's Walk Around Stockholm. Another day, another walk. You know it. And today I am in a place where I have never been before. I am in Haninge Commune to be exact, just outside of Handen Pendeltalk Station, Handen Train Station. And as you can see, it's super weird weather. It's very foggy. I took the train out here and I've never been here before. Um, it's quite far out. It's like all the way on the train to like Westerhaningen, Nuneshamn, the side of Stockholm. That's completely the opposite of Solentuna where I live. And it's very unknown to me. So I just got out of the train station and um, I don't know what kind of neighborhood this is. Is there apartments here? Is there villas? Is this like... I don't know, like, is this, is this the hood? Is this an upmarket? I have no idea where I am. So let's just go straight ahead here. I see a lot of concrete. It looks a bit like, um, this is like the new area of the station. If that makes sense. I didn't come out, I, I came out from that side. And I can see in the sign, that's more like the old school part. Um, but maybe let's just go straight ahead here. I don't know. I really don't know where I ended up. This is gonna be fun folks. So yeah, let's just explore and um, See what we can find. It's like super foggy weird weather like the temperature isn't that low I think it's actually plus one degrees because as you can see the most of the um, Snow is gone. There's just a few piles in the corner I think it even went up like yesterday during the day to like plus four. Um, so this is a really high skyscraper. Check this out. Yeah. Yeah, it looks really like mysterious, like in the um, in the fog, in the mist. So yeah, there's there's not much to see around here because of the weather. But um, yeah, I do the best I can. This looks very weird here. <laughs> Gonna stabilize this. Yep. Sometimes I have to press the recenter button on my DJI camera. So sometimes if you don't be careful and just don't look on your screen, it can film a bit too high or too low. And this is a nice name for a cafe. It's called Mooms. And Mooms, let's make that the word of the day. Mooms means yummy. So <laughs> the cafe is called yummy. Uh, who knows? Maybe I'll end up there. So yeah, this is like. Some kind of center here. Uh, this is a weird place. I'm liking this. Weird places are funny. Like this is really like outskirts Stockholm. I mean, look at that building. I don't know if it shows, but it's pretty cool design. And then everything looks like different. It's it, it feels like it's a place that the changing. So I can imagine this was like a really rough place before. Or maybe still is. Maybe I get robbed. I don't know. But anyway, um, so really rough place, and that they're trying to fix it up because there's a lot of different parts and some modern buildings and there's some Asian restaurant and what's this? Some elephants. Pretty cool. Some artwork and a massive Christmas tree over there. <laughs> like this is like one of the most confusing walks I've ever done. I don't really know where to go. I usually just wander around, but um, yeah, let's let's go here. The thing is that it's not that I don't know where to go. It's that I want to go everywhere. You know, you know the feeling when I'm looking to the left and I'm like, "Ooh, let's go up these stairs." And then I'm going straight ahead. I'm like, "Oh, that looks cool. There's graffiti over there." And then on the right, I see apartments, and I don't know. I see a guy with a cowboy hat over there. This all looks a bit mysterious here. In um, in Handen. Okay, so wait, so that actually Haninge Cent, that's actually the shopping mall, I believe. But I'm not really in the shopping mall kind of vibe right now. Looks funny. So let's just go up here. Let's see what we can find. Because the thing is, once I end up in the shopping mall, it's the same as everywhere, isn't it? I'm gonna see food court, I'm gonna see 
this store and that store they also have in Solon too now so that's not fun see this now it feels more like I'm exploring because when I'm walking on Soda Malm it's literally like all right I'm back at Soda Malm again you know I've seen it all Right, there's a nice little other almost center y place there. I have no idea what's going on and I'm loving it. I'm really getting a buzz out of this. Well, there's like a bus station here. Tungle stuff. And the funny thing is, when I go to a place like this, I suddenly see a lot of new possibilities of other. Um, like places I can go if that makes sense. Oh, this is Haninger Centrum. Yeah, that's the mall. That's not where I'm going. That sounds boring. A little artwork with a little snowman on top of it. This is funny. Is he hugging the snow? Looks like it. You know the big friendly giant movie? It looks a bit like that. What's this? Is this some feet? Yeah. All right. Yeah, I do think this is a bit of a... What we call in um, Swedish for utsattområde. I'm, I'm not sure if it is. Yeah, I'm really wondering. Probably this is one of those places which is actually the same in Solentuna, like where I live in the outskirts of Stockholm. It's like it's a bit like a city of its own, right? It's probably the same here in Haninge. Um So, which usually means that you get everything. So you get some bad neighborhoods, some really good neighborhoods, and a lot of stuff in between almost changing from street to street and that's a bit of the vibe I'm getting here but I do like it because somehow this does not look like the rest of Stockholm You know what, let's just take a right here, across the street. Oh. Well, this is a preschool called Aspen. It always reminds me of American movies where people go skiing in, a in Aspen. There's al it's always the same, right? It's like someone going to Aspen, some rich person, and then there's always like something with Christmas and then someone in love and something with a snowstorm and someone getting stuck in Aspen or, you know, it's, it's all the ingredients for a cheesy American movie. Like impossible love, check, yes. Almost Christmas, yes, check. Snowstorm, yes, check. Okay, let's make a movie. But yeah, this is a different Aspen. Oh, all right, what's this? Yeah, they have a little courtyard here like a little outside area but they made it into disco that's nice a little playing area and like a little court this is really one of the funniest place I've been in Stockholm I'm so confused about this place what is it where am I This is hilarious. Now I'm, and now I'm going into the woods or... <laughs> I just ended up in the hill now on the woods. Suburbs of Stockholm. All right, all right. Oh, this is funny. 
The only thing missing is a squirrel, actually. That would really would top this video if I see a squirrel now. But that's this is the thing, right? Like in Stockholm, this is always like you're always like you're in the mall or something, and then you're suddenly, and then suddenly like you go around the block and you're like, all right, I'm in nature with these beautiful trees. And I wouldn't be so. The only thing still missing is the waterfront. Can't be far away, can it? I didn't look on a map, but. I don't know. Up, wait. Oh, don't fall over. I was so stupid enough not to bring my winter shoes today because. I, wait, almost fell over. Almost blooper. Um, so, yeah, it's really slippery as I just proved because I almost fell over. <coughs> Because I was like, yeah, it's plus degrees, uh, no need my my boots. Mm, maybe I was wrong. Okay. So I think this big glass new building is like a cultural center or little library kind of thing. Maybe it's even a swimming pool, I don't know. <coughs> but that's like the new area. So it seems like they're on a massive project of changing everything up. And giving some new impulses to the area. And here you can see more of the, the older apartments probably built in the, I don't know, 60s or whatever. Um, yeah, let's go one block down. I'm kind of circling around the station, I guess. I hope, not sure. Yeah, I should be. It should be over there. So, 12 minutes in, chat gang, what's up? I hope you enjoyed my uh, my recent videos. Um, I personally really like them. I like the one going down the stairs, also the mom with the deer, um, which make me actually learn a new thing in English. It's not deers. It's a deer, apparently. I don't know. I, always, I, I think I've said my whole life one deer, two deers. But someone said to me, it's deer. Okay, fair enough. Anyway, that was fun. And then the day after, what did it do yesterday? Oh, yeah, the one with the big Christmas tree on the, um, hey, on the thumbnail. See, I tried the hay there, got completely ignored. That was lovely. Bump. <laughs> I got burned there by this lady. Um, yeah, that was fun as well. I don't think the Christmas tree did the video justice because it was a way more than that. But uh, I just like the look out of the of the tree. Yeah, it's the mix of all the different buildings here that's confusing me. Probably if you grew up in Handen, here around the area in Haningen, you probably don't recognize anything if you haven't been here for like 15 years. That's just the vibe I'm getting. But it's almost the same everywhere in Stockholm. Like This city is like, as they say, växer som de knakar. It means like it's growing, that it's like to the breaking point, you know what I mean? It's like... It's like because it's growing so fast, they're building everywhere. Like especially in the area, Solna, Sumbi Bay, Bromma. You know, it's crazy. Like, well, let's not even start talking about Barkeby, Barkeby Staden. Oh my God! When I got to Sweden, which was like you know 2007, for the first time, it was basically just field. Um, so yeah, I just lady lost something. So anyway, um, so yeah, 15 years ago when I came to Sweden, um, Barkeby and Järfälla in general was just like fields and <coughs> there was an airport uh, for for like a little air private airport, something like that, and it was just nature. And now it's like the biggest building project of all Stockholm. They're building 10,000 and 10,000 of apartments. It's crazy, like, and they're far from done. 
See these are new apartments here. Quite oh, nice. Although I'm gonna get wet feet, but okay. Ah, no, it wasn't too bad. Oh, check that doggy out. Is that a dog? Question of the day, people. Is that a dog or what's that? I don't know. Kind of, looks like it. <laughs> oh, I really like this walk. If you, if you do as well, leave a thumbs up and subscribe. We're closing in on 20K, 400 subscribers to go. It's nice. This looks quite nice here. Oh yeah, now I see where I am. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess the tracks are over there. This is all this is what I mean. This is all new. Let's check this how high these buildings are. Poseidon story. Poseidon square. Oh yes, that's just basically where I walked. Okay, now I get it. Looks nice. Yeah, so I was right. That place is called Honinger Kulturhus. Culture house and library. So I somehow have to try to get over to the other side of the road um, because I kind of had to go that way. It's called the Hand and Terminal and Train Station, but I went like one layer up. So Hmm, <laughs> there's no crossing here. So yeah, I'm just gonna go like this. Be careful for the cars. We don't wanna get hit. I'm only 42, which is by the way, a question I get sometimes, how old are you? I'm 42. Um, so I still wanna live about 42 years more. I think 84 sounds about right. I try to live uh, pretty healthy, so. <laughs> I think I'm still on track, if that makes sense. But you never know, you know, how it goes in life, but yeah. See how foggy it looks today. These um, lights are actually not working. So I was pressing the buttons, but they're not on, see? It's, as we say in Swedish, Varken. Grönt eller röd. So it's neither green or red, it's nothing, because they're strangely enough turned off. Yeah, I must say this is really one of the most weirdest areas of Stockholm I've walked. And that's not a negative thing, I like it, because otherwise everything gets boring. But if you ask me, Daniel, would you love to live here? Mm, no thanks. But, I'm not gonna lie, first time I came to Solentun, I was thinking the same. So yeah, but you know, some places grow on you, and when you get to know them better, um, you know, you find out the nice spots. 
and you find out especially the nice people living there because in the end it's all about the people you know it's like when people say oh what's your favorite memory or from your childhood or your favorite holiday and if your favorite holiday is to Italy it's not really just about Italy is it it's about that particularly particular week with especially the people you travel with or the people you meet or the people you fall in love with or you know it's those kind of memories not Italy so yeah maybe it's the same same with Handen people maybe I fall in love with it I don't know it hasn't happened yet so we're almost back at it now at the stations I think that's the perfect moment to round up today's video I know someone from Handen is gonna say now you didn't do the place justice I apologize I hope you enjoyed this video and um, see you all tomorrow on a maybe even stranger place in another Stockholm suburb thanks thumbs up please leave a thumbs up and I see you all tomorrow on a new adventure bye bye